Hi, and welcome to Dr. Vanderveen's AP Chemistry Podcast. Today we're talking about energy quantization in hydrogen. Now that sounds like quite a mouthful. What we're talking about here really are electron transitions. Sometimes you're going from a lower energy level to a higher energy level. And in order to do that, the electron would need to absorb light or absorb energy, maybe absorb a photon. And in some cases, you're going from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, which would result in the atom emitting a photon. What we want to be able to do is calculate the energy of the levels, find their difference, and find the wavelength of light associated with that. And so that's really what I'm trying to talk about here. So our objectives for this podcast are to review the relevant equations and then solve a sample problem. Now the first equation that we need to use is on your equation sheet. All right, and this is a form really of the Rydberg equation. So the energy in energy level n, where n is the principal quantum number, energy level 1, 2, 3, and so on, is equal to this constant over n squared. You'll notice it's got a negative sign. That's because this is relative to uh, a state where the electron is infinitely far away from the nucleus, where the energy mm -hmm. would basically be 0. And so um, it's negative relative to the reference. Okay. And so we can use this to calculate the energy of an electron in a, in a certain state. The other thing I wanted to point out, this equation as written is for the hydrogen atom, which has an atomic number of 1. If you had a different um, atomic number, you would have to include that explicitly in the expression. The next equation that helps us is a reminder that what we're looking at are electron transitions. We're going from an initial state to a final state. And so when we want to calculate delta E, we're always going to do the energy of the final state minus the energy of the initial state. All right. A negative delta E is saying that the atom has lost energy and given it off in the form of the photon. All right. And this would happen if the final state is lower in inter is uh, has a lower quantum number, principal quantum number than the initial state. And a positive delta E, all right, would mean that the electron had to absorb energy. The atom has gained energy in order to excite that electron. All right, so we're going to we can use the first equation to find the energies of the states. We take their difference. And then we can use the delta E equals HC over lambda to find the wavelength of light associated. Now, I should mention normally when we do this calculation, we would typically use the absolute value of delta E because negative wavelengths have no physical meaning. So, of course, our wavelengths have to be positive. And so we're going to go through and do a problem based on this. All right, so a certain line in the spectrum of atomic hydrogen is associated with the electronic transition in the hydrogen atom from the fifth energy level to the third energy level. Calculate the wavelength in nanometers of the radiation associated with the spectral line. By the way, I hate the use of the word spectral here. I think spectroscopic would be a better term since we're not talking about those, but that's an aside. All right, so if we use the first equation that we looked at, we can calculate the energy associated with energy level 5. Times 10 to the minus 18 joules over n squared, where n squared is 25. All right, and we can go through and calculate this out. All right, so with my handy dandy calculator, I get energy for energy level 5 equal to negative 8.712 times 10 to the 
times 10 to the minus 20 joules. Okay, and now I need to do E2 for n equals 2. All right, so I'll do the same kind of calculation, negative 2.178 times 10 to the negative 18, divide by two, n squared, which would be 4, and that will come out to be joules. All right, so um, all right, so I did it in my calculator, and I get negative 5.445 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And what I really need here is the energy difference. All right. Um, I'll do uh, E5 minus E2. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um, all right, because we do want the absolute value. So we'll plug these in. Go ahead and we'll do this calculation. And I plug that into my calculator. And if I did the math correctly, I get an energy difference of 4.574 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Probably not being as careful about my sig figs here as I need to be. We have different exponents. It's okay. So that's my delta E. All right. If that had come out to be negative, it doesn't say whether the energy, the electron's going up or down in this question. It's just the absolute value that we're interested in. So I can now substitute that into our equation. Delta E equals HC over lambda. I can rearrange it. I find that always helpful to do. So lambda equals HC over delta E. And I can plug this in. Now we know H from our equation sheet. So I'll just that in. Of light from our equation sheet. And I know delta E in joules. And I can do that and get a wavelength of light associated with that. So let's get this math done. Let's plug it into our calculators. And I want to just double check my math here. Always a good thing to double check your calculations to make sure they come out okay. And this is what my calculator gives me. 0. 0.000000. Oh, oh, three, four meters. And I know it's meters because I look at my units. Units of joules cancel. Units of seconds cancel, leaving me with units of meters. But the problem specifically says to um, calculate this in nanometers. So if I don't go back to nanometers, I'm not going to get full credit. We know that... 10 to the minus 9th meters is 1 nanometer. And so I can say that this comes out to be 434 nanometers for my final answer. And that would be the wavelength of light that would make this transition possible. So if the electron goes up from energy level 2 to energy level 5, it absorbed a photon of light with a wavelength of 434 nanometers. If it went from energy level 5 to energy level 2, it gave off a photon of light with a wavelength of 434 nanometers.